good morning my fellow prospectors and treasure hunters. It's been a while since I've done a video and this usually means that uh, I've been very busy. I've been working in the field and doing some some uh, projects that need to be done before the winter. I have some video when I get time to do some editing I'm going to share on this channel. I've been metal detecting a few times and I've been exploring some old mine sites. One of the things I'd like to do a course or a series on is um, I've got some older prospecting books here that talk about uh, qualitative analysis and mineral identification and how to test for the various precious metals. Right now with gold and silver and Pedillium and platinum being very high, it's a good time to get back into prospecting and looking for different precious metals. Anyway, um, one of the things that I would like to go over is to show, to go through some of these old tests that were done for qualitative analysis of precious metals. Um, there's a couple of really good sites on the internet for prospecting, hard rock mining, mineral identification, and some private mining companies that, that put out some of these videos that would be interesting to research if you're interested in that kind of a thing. But one of the things that I'm looking forward to doing in the spring is we're going to be filing several mining claims on some of our prospects, and we're going to be doing some analysis of some of these finds. I've got a lot of samples that I've got to send off this winter to be assayed and based upon those analysis we're going to determine what direction to go with some of these prospects. Anyway, um, something that I've always been interested in has been mine and property evaluation and I, do, I spend a lot of time on Google Earth and I found something very interesting on Google Earth not too long ago that I have been researching. And maybe somebody who is an expert on Google Earth or has done a lot of photography or aerial analysis, aerial surveying, prospecting for um, mining companies, they, they use LiDAR. They use all kinds of different technology nowadays to determine possible the location of possible mineralized areas. But one thing I've been noticing on Google Earth is these rainbow lines or lines that seem to be consistently crossing over areas that I'm looking at for mining, that I'm examining old mines. It seems like there's some kind of radio synthesis or or some type of uh, the light or the camera or something that seems to be reacting with some of the either the minerals in the ground could be moisture in the air uh, it could be interference from uh, the signal that's being put up by these min minerals or by different veins or faults that are in the earth anyway if anybody else has noticed things like that or noticed any anomalies on Google Earth associated with their mining areas, it'd be interesting to for you to leave a comment. One of the things that has been very interesting to me is I, I, I found some sites that talk about ray lines on Google Earth which are mag or power lines or lines that of energy talked about and I've, I've never put very much stock in that before but I'm starting to see more and more interest from people in using infrared technology to find auras that are put off from different treasure uh, caches or from actual mineralized veins or sites. Um, if anybody has any information that they or any information or any research that they've done in this area, I'd be interested to talk to you. Maybe leave me an email or or uh, a message. That'd be really interesting research to do. I think that's possibly the future of a lot of exploration is going to be more technology, aerial 
aerial exploration and different types of analysis that use these different technologies and are able to identify specific features. Some of you may be aware of the um, photographs that were taken by an astronaut from space where he noticed some anomalies on the type of uh, film and type of uh, research that they were doing and there was a whole series done on that. Uh, I'm going to put a link below to some of those things. I believe the History Channel did a series on it and some of these sites they've actually found that they identified from photographs they've actually found treasure caches or shipwrecks. Um, I don't know if they found anything on land but I do know that there's many sites that they have investigated in the water that have produced results. Um, anyway, that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been working on some of these mining prospects. I've been out in the field trying to get a bunch of work done before winter. I've been working on some construction projects. And when things slow down, when the weather turns colder and the snow starts to fly, then I'll be able to do more video and take some of the the videos that I have taken in the field and edit those for this YouTube channel. Anyway, that's just a quick update. Um, I've done a little bit of research on some of the Spanish mines in the northern part of Utah and I have some interesting things to share about that. So anyway, Good luck and good luck in your prospecting and treasure hunting. Until next time.